There's always been a bit of a love-hate relationship between rappers and their fans. On the one hand, fans are the ones who help make the rapper famous and successful. On the other hand, the fans can be some of the most critical and demanding people in the world. In 2021, Boosie, along with many other superstars, headlined the Legends of the Streets tour. The tour was a massive success, with fans from all over the country descending on the various venues to see the hip-hop legends perform. But one night in Atlanta, Boosie was supposed to perform, and he was nowhere to be found. After waiting a minute, the host canceled his performance, but the crowd wasn't too happy about this, so they started to chant Boosie's name over and over. Eventually, the DJ gave in and started to play Boosie's music. When Boosie finally arrived, he heard the chants along with the music, so he immediately came out and started to perform. This made the host furious, so they proceeded to knock over the DJ's equipment, stopping the music and the performance. Boosie's entourage immediately started to fight with the host, turning the show into a huge brawl. It was a wild night, but nobody was seriously injured. Injured, and the crowd still got what they wanted. But in this next situation, two rappers teamed up to fight their fans. In 2016, Chicago rapper G Herbo and Lil Bibby were caught on camera fighting their fans. In a video recorded by a fan, you can see Lil Bibby taking off his chains and handing them to his security. While doing this, someone tried to reach and snatch it from him. Some of the guys from Bibby's entourage started a fight with them, turning it into a royal rumble. Bibby later posted a video to his Instagram confirming that he still had all of his chains and that None of his guys were harmed. Oh, look here, nobody took shit from Bibby, man. Every chain I left out the house with is right here on my neck, man. Every one I left out the house with. I passed my chains to my homeboy and a big altercation happened, man. Nobody took shit from me, man. You already know. It's a pretty ugly scene, and it just shows that celebrities are just like us. They can get pissed off pretty quickly. This wasn't the only time that rappers teamed up to fight their fans, though. When the video of Migos fighting their fans in 2014 surfaced on the internet, it wasn't a pretty sight. It all started when one overly enthusiastic fan snatched one of the rapper's chains. The Migos weren't having that. They instantly jumped into the crowd, fists flying. It was people getting knocked out left and right, to the point where you'd think someone sprayed some sleep potion in the air or something. The police were called, but Limelight Security got everything in control before they showed up. Some rappers don't mind fans being in their personal space, but some do. And the ones that do, let's just say they make it pretty obvious. Back in 2017, rapper PNB Rock found himself in a bit of a pickle when he got into a physical altercation with a popular YouTuber. Queensflip, a content creator known for his Uber driver pranks, tried to pull one on Rock, but PNB Rock took it a little too serious and tried to fight the prankster. In the video, you can see him with his daughter asking repeatedly, why are you recording? His friends tried to explain that it was all a joke, but he wasn't hearing it. He handed his daughter over to one of his right-hand mans and immediately squared up with Queens. He threw a few punches that didn't land before they were broken up. Nobody was harmed, and let's just hope PNB Rock eventually looked back and laughed at this. While it's never okay to resort to violence, it's easy to see why Rock might have been provoked. Maybe this rapper just needed some space and some boxing lessons, but this was nothing compared to what Akon did to one of his fans in 2007. While performing at a concert in Fiskill, New York, a guy in the crowd kept throwing things at the talented artist. At first, Akon couldn't find exactly who it was, but after asking the crowd, they pointed the culprit out and he was invited on stage. From the looks of it, you'd think it was a friendly invite, but as soon as the guy's feet touched the stage, Akon threw him off the stage like Uncle Phil used to do jazz in Fresh Prince. The video truly stands out from others that have happened because of the projectile effect, which made it almost appear like a stunt in an action movie scene. The teen who was tossed survived without injury. However, Abby Rosa, the person he landed on, allegedly suffered an injury. But unlike Akon and most of these other rap artists, this rapper was wearing a full two-piece suit when he got into it with the fan. In 2009, Pitbull was a pop sensation and was loved by thousands. However, before the rebrand, he was known for showing the gritty aspect of Miami where he came from. His street side came to light at an Aspen, Colorado concert in 2009 when a fan he helped on stage threw money in his face. Pitbull, dressed in a two-piece tuxedo, was just about to perform one of his songs titled Bojangles. Before this, he had already performed an entire set and only had three breaks, so he was already tired and easily irritable. But one fan in the crowd didn't really seem to care. Throughout the set, the fan kept throwing cash on stage, making it rain as if he was in a club. The first few times, Pitbull just kicked the money off stage so the fans could grab it. He gave the fan a verbal warning and left it alone, but the fan walked to the other side of the stage and 
continue to throw the money. After this, Pitbull had enough. He invited the fan on stage and immediately put him in the spotlight. He said, this is the clown that's going to mess it up for everyone. And after he confirmed that he will be removing him from the show, he warned everyone else not to throw money on the stage. But before Pitbull could finish his sentence, the fan reached into his pocket, grabbed some more cash, and threw it in the rapper's face. This is when Pitbull says his natural instinct kicked in. He immediately laid the guy out with one punch. Later, in an interview with MTV, he said that in no way, shape, or form was that his intention. It was more like a reaction. But this next rapper, Superman, jumped into the crowd and punched the fan. West Coast rapper YG had additional issues to cope with following a concert at the Encore nightclub in Edmonton, Canada after a fight broke out in the audience. According to a promoter's manager who spoke to TMZ, YG had lost his voice two songs into his show. He immediately went backstage and came to an agreement with the DJ just to play his music loud so he doesn't have to perform with his raspy voice. But once he noticed this wasn't working, he started to throw water bottles into the crowd hoping that they would get more excited, but it didn't work either. Once the fans caught on to what he was doing, they weren't too happy. One fan started to throw ice cubes at him, but he brushed it off at first. The DJ tried to give him a warning to stop, but as they continued, he scanned the crowd and found a culprit. He instantly dropped what he was doing, ran, and jumped into the crowd, fist flying. After this, fans started a riot, throwing anything they could get hold of, from water bottles to ice cubes to even bowls. It was pure chaos, and the show had to be stopped. After the show, YG also got into a fight with four guys in the parking lot who were trying to break into his car. They took his chain, but at least he made it home safe. But what's so crazy about this next situation is the fans were showing up to this rapper's shows trying to fight him. Eminem is no stranger to beefing with his fans. He's had some of the most public feuds with his fans of any rapper out there. It all started in 2000 when Eminem released his second album, The Marshall Mathers LP. The album was a huge success, but it also stirred up a lot of controversies. One of the songs on the album, Kill You, included violent lyrics directed at Eminem's then wife, Kim Scott. Fans of Scott were outraged and they began sending death threats to Eminem through fan mail. Eminem responded by releasing another track, Kim, in which he fantasized about harming Scott. The beef between Eminem and his fans continued until the early 2000s. In 2002, a fan threw a banana at him during a concert in New Zealand. And in 2003, a fan threw a cup of urine at him during a show in Detroit. In both cases, Eminem responded by throwing objects back at the fans. He also called the fan who threw a banana a very harsh slur that YouTube would probably strike me if I repeated. The feud between Eminem and his fans finally seemed to die down in the mid 2000s, but it was reignited in 2009 when Eminem dissed Michael Jackson on his album Relapse. Jackson's fans were not happy and they made their displeasure known online and at concerts. Eminem has since apologized for these fights and his fans seem to have forgotten about it. Die hard fans, right? It's important to remember that while these incidents might be entertaining to watch from afar, they can also be quite dangerous for both the rapper and the fans involved. And before you go, make sure you leave a like and check out this video to see more rappers that got into fights.